What is up guys, it is Sansa77 and tonight we're going to be playing Skinwalker. So um, basically this is a 2D RPG horror game. Um, oh and by the way, thank you guys so much for 100 subscribers, I'm so happy with that. You know, I just, I just feel like like the king. I feel like the king, right? You know what I mean? I feel like the king. No, I'm joking, but yeah, thank you so much for that. There will be more content coming your way and uh, yeah, thanks for that. But anyway, let's just get into the game. So. Um, it's Z for action. So, the following story really happened. I saw it with my own eyes. Maybe it didn't happen as I saw it, but more on that later. We were all going out camping, me and three friends from university. Let me introduce my friends. This is Darren. I wouldn't say that he is our group of friends leader. Wait, he's our group of friends. Wait, what? Well, actually, I would. He's the one that gets us all out of the house and into the action. He's the first one. You know, the cute girl by the bar. He, oh, we got a bit of a pimp here, don't we? Actually, I'm not going to read because it's annoying. According to himself, he was more impulsive when he was a kid. I can only imagine his child around now. Let me be. Must have a pretty broken and scrape his knees in his head. Still, if it weren't for Darren, we wouldn't have half of the amount of the on we have oh my god you're boring me man you're boring me let's just get into the game let's get into the horror let's get into the gore of the game the girl celeste we all know each other we met since you moved in bro i don't want your life story i just want to play the game and show her around the neighborhood and after that we were inseparable for a few years oh she's a nice girl although her health isn't the best she has some kind of heart problem which i forgot the name of this forced her to be away from school extended periods of her childhood. Because of this, w until we started university, I was her only friend. That's pretty bad. Still, she never complained, and I've always seen her as a positive, happy girl. Sweet. Next is me. I'm Joe. As the name implies, I'm pretty normal. I don't have any overly bad qualities, but other than I don't have good ones either. I live in this apartment a short walk from my university. This is where us four friends usually gather before going out. This guy here, looking all relaxed on my bed, is Michael. He is my neighbor, living in the apartment next door. One day, while I had Celeste over, he just barged in. Hey man, your place looks pretty nice. Mind if I join you for dinner, he said. As you can imagine, he's pretty pushy. I don't think he realizes it. It's, it's himself. Sorry, my sister is so annoying. <laughs> he came over several times after that day. After that, we somehow naturally became friends. Okay, can I play now? Yeah. So one day, Darren came with the idea that we should go camping. Darren said his family had a cabin a little bit into the forest, so camping we went. It would be fun, right? Of course, Michael and Celeste disliked the idea of staying in a cabin. It's a camping trip. We want to sleep in the wilderness, so Darren told us about the woods in the cabin. I don't remember much about the trip to the cabin. We joked around, took a few breaks, normal stuff. Either way, we drove up to the cabin and left the car there. We took a short break in the cabin and set out into the wilderness. We went pretty far in. I can't say how far in the distance exactly, but it took several hours to get up where we had to camp. Okay, thank you. Can we play now, please? But then... Okay, we're all chilling. Sleep well last night. Okay, we're finally into the game. Jesus Christ, that took so long. Oh my god. Alright, so, yeah. Thank you for 100 subscribers. I'm just going to keep saying it. But yeah, so, pretty normal looking 2D game. Morning day. Or should I say afternoon? Fix us some... Foot for the fire, will ya? Oh, what the fuck you? Okay, I'm not pressing anything, you're just getting the wood. Cool, yo. And why is the camera going over there? Okay, then. What's this? Wait, why am I... Oh, what's that sound? It doesn't sound like something you hear in a forest. Uh, well, I played Sunday, you bitch. So shut up. We've got a bucket full of water. Do I just leave now, or...? The sound has stopped. Okay, fucking... This game takes so long to get into. My head hurts. Yeah, well, we've all got our problems, man. Cool. Okay, let's go. Where do I need to go? 
So, what do you guys think of this game so far? It looks alright, I guess. Not too bad. For everything we need, I need to go back to the camp. That's what I just did, you... Mmm. What? Oh, okay. Now we're getting into something. We're cooking now. There's a lot of talking in this game later that evening. Oh, God. We're getting into evening. Shit just got real. That's a pretty realistic fire. Oh, wait, no. Oh, see, it thinks you're going to get into a cutscene, but then you're just standing there looking like a dickhead. Four-hour trek. Four-hour trek. How about no? So, yeah, now that you mention it, what is that? Sounds like something metally. Metally hot. Is that even a word? Are you stupid? Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> it's a word if I say so. Okay, a bit of comedy in this game. It stopped. Maybe it was some kind of machine. Who the hell will go out hours from the nearest civilization in the middle of the night and start revving up some kind of weird machine? Who gives a shit? It's probably some I'm using a chainsaw or something. Let's go to sleep. Um, so, no, no, no. He, he says that so calmly. Oh, it's just someone using a chainsaw. Well, it won't be a maniac or anything. No one's going to fucking chop us. Prick. Ugh. <sighs> Okay, can I go inside now? Okay, so we're not exploring. Sleep must soon overtook everyone. Oh god. Why would you stumble? You retard. Oh god. That's so creepy. Darren Michael Celeste, is that you? The mist is even thicker than before. I can't see much. Oh, Jesus Christ. Do I really have to do this? I really do not want to check this sound. Joe, can we go back, Joe? Where am I? Where am I going, Joe? Dude, Joe. Joe. Joe, can we please go back? Are you seriously going to do this? not from the lake that's apparent what is that sound <gasps> who the hell is that Michael is that you is it... say something will you who are you mm. well stop right there I have a knife holy crap that sounds really nervy shit I think he's coming after me, is he? Oh yeah. <laughs> Good idea. I'm the one going back there. That's pretty stupid. Okay. Oh, dude. Wake up. There's something outside the tent. No joke. Oh, what? Oh, gosh. Lots of squirrels and shit. Go back to sleep. Hey, is Michael here? Mm, yeah, I'm here. Why wouldn't I be? I don't know. The thing outside looked like you. It was probably some animal. Don't think we'll have to worry forever take and go back to sleep well all right maybe it was just some animal sounds yes thank you it couldn't be just some animal a few minutes later <laughs> oh. oh god okay drop it whoever it is i want to sleep already it wasn't me me neither it sound like any of us well shit now i'm never going to be able to sleep should we go outside and have a look what's some <laughs> okay the reason we'll check it out and all that let me go outside it ain't funny anymore Oh god, it's going to have a jump scare, isn't it? No. Okay, it isn't. This game is so creepy. What the heck is that? Some Someone was definitely here. Shit, 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 shit. Calm down, Celeste. We are four against one here. It will be fine. What if the dude has some kind of weapon with him? I mean, he killed this little critter, didn't he? What is that? My is right, we've got to get the hell out of here. We can't just shut up and leave. It's in the middle of the night. What about our stuff? Screw our stuff. I'm not staying here another minute. Fine, we'll leave, but at least bring the flashlight and some food and water. I think you're overreacting, though. We haven't seen anyone still. This deadly creature in. We can't go. Can we just stop talking? The more time you talk, the more time you waste. Let's just go. A couple of minutes later. Alright, let's go. The hell? Wait. I don't... I'm going in there, right? Wait, I have to... 
go by myself? Are you freaking serious? Are you actually serious right now? Wow, dude. That's pretty screwed up. I'm going there by myself. Wow. Okay, then. Sorry. The oh, okay. They're with me. So when I'm walking, they're not with me, though. At least... Fog is really annoying, though. So we're going to back to the cabin, right? I guess that's the plan. Jesus, man. This game is... Weird. <gasps> He's there. He's there. He's, like, right there. Oh, shit. Oh, turn around, Joe, 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 wow, a while later it became obvious Darren had no idea where we were going, he was swearing and looking all around, we have been walking for an awfully long time now, are you sure we'll be on the right path, Darren, I've walked this path hundreds of times, we are on the right path, I don't recognize anything from when we were walking to the camp though, I said we were on the right path, Jesus man, this is so weird, Time it became over sat <laughs> Darren had no idea that we were Darren couldn't find the path. Maybe it was a fog, maybe the darkness, maybe something else. Either way we were lost. I kept looking behind me. I was having that feeling where you think someone is watching or stalking you. Oh my god. I pointed him out to you. I nearly tripped over Celeste when she fell. Yes. To her feet. It was getting even mistier. If not for the flashlight, I wouldn't have no idea who she was. Oh god. I recognize that tree. We're getting to the cabin. Oh my god. Oh my god. Whoa. Oh shit! Oh my god. Oh. Jesus Christ, man. Don't do that. Oh. I caught up with the others as they entered the cabin. They couldn't find the car and arguing where they put it. I told them what I saw. Obviously, they didn't believe me. Still, everyone hurried inside and locked the door. Oh my god, that scared the crap out of me. He followed us here. He really wants something from us. He doesn't seem to have anything to break down the door with, though. What the hell does he want with us? Hell, if if I know, I'll ask him. Oh my god. Hey, don't touch the door. I wasn't gonna. Hey, don't touch. Well, what do you want me to do? <laughs> I'm just gonna do it to piss him off. She's breathing quite heavily. Oh, she's having that uh, freaking heart problem. Isn't she? I think that's the thing, her heart. Did he go away? Maybe he did. Oh! Shit! Shit. No, he can't get in, right? Yeah, what the hell? Celeste. He's just trying to scare us. Take it easy. Oh my god, do I really have to go after her now? Are you serious? She seems to be uh, hyperventilating. It's alright, Celeste. The door is locked and it's the only way we're safe here. No response. Oh, God. Jesus, what do I do then? Is she the person? Oh, God. Where do I go? Oh, wow, this game is so bad. It's so creepy, seriously. Wait, what do I do now, then? Wait, I'm going to have a look around, guys. Fuel for the fireplace. Oh god, he's gonna pop up. No. Don't. Oh, okay, maybe not. Okay, he's not there, thank god. Whew. Where am I supposed to be looking then? Oh god, please, no. Don't do it. Don't do it, please. 
<gasps> Who is that? Oh my god. You know. You get away. You get away right now. This isn't funny anymore, dude. Get. <gasps> what the hell? Wait, was he there before? He was not there before. No, it's not cool, man, because you weren't there before. Okay, she's calmed down. You want to talk then? No? We'll look through this window again. Nothing there. Okay. Dude, this game is its good at creeping you out. If I'm being a bit quiet, I'm sorry, but... Holy crap. It looked like him, did it? What do I do then? What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? I'm trying to just figure out. Wait, oh my god. Oh, are you serious? Where do I go? God damn it, Celeste. Where is she going? Ah, what the hell's happening? Oh my god. Dude, dude, what the hell is this? Can't get up. Oh god, what's happening? God, I'm gonna have to look outside. Nothing there. Oof. What the hell is going on? This is too creepy. This is too creepy. Oh my god, Michael, dude, dude, dude. I don't feel so good. No shit. What, what do I do then? What do you want me to do? Where do I go? I need to get matches, I think. Sorry guys, I'm just gonna have a look around. God damn it. No. I didn't even press anything that time. What the hell? What the hell? She just keeps moving around. Okay, I need to keep looking. I need to find something. I need to keep looking, guys. Sorry. Sorry. I'm a bit... I'm just too into the game at the moment. Oh, my God. Holy crap. What do I need to do? What do I do? Oh, okay, I have to lie down. Couldn't sleep and I, I just wanted to rest. Waited for the world to stop spinning. I looked out the window. Oh, God, he's there. Hey, it's side. He looks like side. There was someone in the tree. I stared back. What's going on? He quickly pulled the blinds down. Celeste came through the door. She looked pale. I dragged her to the bed and laid her down. She was gasping for air as if something was suffocating. Eventually, her breathing came more regular. She shrugged. Okay. Whew. Suddenly a voice could be heard from the locked door. What's worse though, that it was Celeste's voice. Let me in, let me in, let me in, God, let me in there. My knife and place it. You guys can read it, because I can't read it. What are you doing? No, I'm not the real one. Oh my God, it's her, isn't it? Is it her? Wait, what? There was nothing but a trail of black liquid. What the hell? Oh, God. Oh, God. Shit. What the hell? You guys need to- I can't read it.
Oh my god. No, please. Oh Jesus Christ, what's going on? Celeste was shaking me. She was on the brink of tears and her voice was cracking. Get up. That bastard was in your skin. My head hurt. I was about to ask her what happened when she pulled me backwards toward the door. We toppled and stumbled towards Zaren's car, which was parked in a different location from what I remembered. I was glad to be alive. The mist had stopped completely. Celeste was downright crying now. Pushed me to the seat and that's when I noticed. I was wearing different clothes from when I lost consci consciousness. Michael was there, huddled, face buried in his knees. Some clothes stained with blood were beside him. They were mine. Darren immediately stepped on the pedal but nothing happened. He swore and did it again. I noticed that Celeste was armed with a shotgun from the cabin. I asked them what was going on. The thing joined us. He looked like the house in the car. We were halfway down the road and Michael started screaming. Looked at Michael and he blazed over and look in his eyes. Burst out, blazing jump at the shotgun. He was firing at the window. We saw the Oh my god. Thing talked to me. There we go, sweet. Cars on. What the hell? It was on the roof. Oh, <gasps> shit! Wow. Wow. Sorry, that was my mum. <laughs> what the hell? <gasps> Dude not right. I love you. What the hell? <gasps> Shit. Wow. fight again and I saw my own face beginning to rot more than nothing when I see in front of me. The things are open. That's the best word I want to describe it. <sighs> I'm scared. Oh my god, I'm so scared. the hell guys I can't read it I'm just, just kind of lost for words I'm sorry it have been two months now we still refrain from talking about it if you're expecting some huge twist or something you'll be disappointed I still don't know what we met out there I don't want to know actually I still have nightmares on my own face shouting I am you I'm never going to that ca no shit Sherlock Guys, I'll tell you something now. That is an experience. That that really is an experience for you. You guys, you guys need to play this with headphones on. Just the sounds. Oh God, sorry. Just the sounds it they made. It was just crazy. Oh, anyway, guys. If you did like the video, <laughs> please leave a like as always. And um, this was a really fun experience. Thank you again for 100 subscribers. I'm really happy that you guys did that for me subscribing i'm really happy and uh yeah i'll see you in the next video so ciao